Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for April 17th, 2019. So it's hump day, and yesterday we had oh, just one of those pop and drop patterns. It's a little bit disappointing, but really nothing technically damaged the market at all yesterday. Let's take a look. We, we popped up here yesterday morning with some lots of pre-market bullishness and things going on look like we just wanted to rip the top off of the market let's take a look at a you know a 15 minute chart you can see there's that pop and drop and it's one of those things that i talk about pretty frequently when we are gapping toward price resistance levels we want to watch and make sure we don't want to chase into this we want to watch and make sure that those buyers actually start coming in to show us that they are there and that really never happened yesterday. We just kind of wandered around. Now this morning we're looking at another gap up open. So uh, right now, but it, but it's rather subdued. Right now um, we're looking at about a 40 point gap up open. That's as I record this and that could change substantially prior to the market open. But as you can see, we're up here in this level where it's not a big surprise that we could be running into just a little bit of cautiousness as we approach these all-time high levels in the market so diamonds trying to push up and yesterday we had a nice little uh nice little help yesterday in uh, boeing um, getting some um, faa approval on their software that actually helped a lot and you can see boeing is looking just a little bit higher this morning so that's helping that diamonds lift back up just a little bit but what I want to point out here is I think what we've got going on is just a, a cautious optimism. Right now, we still have trends in place. Trends are good all as well. Bullishness overall reigns right now in the market. But as we approach these levels, we're just being extremely cautious. We're just a little bit worried. Once we get up here, and I do believe we are going up there, once we get up there, will the earnings continue to, to, to support these uh, kind of lofty prices that we've placed on them? Will they actually support or will we see a major defense of the bears up here saying nope we don't go any higher so just that cautious optimism going on so right now dow is trending higher we have the spy spy is also in a nice upward trend testing those resistance levels just trying so hard to poke up there and move through and i do believe I do believe we will test these highs. Um, I think it would be a, a, a terrible shame to come this close and not test them. Uh, and, and, and right now you can see the bulls are really wanting to push those highs. The big question is, once we get there, can we hold those levels? You, if you just take a look at the price action, notice the these candles back here um, in the chart. If you notice these candles, uh, price range um, relatively um, substantial. You know, we have nice candle sizes and things like that. Notice as we approach that price resistance, those candle sizes continue to shrink, diminish, um, lots of uh, concern. Uh, traders and investors just a little bit pensive about um, these prices up here as we hit those earnings. So we've reached that point where we may be, you know, just a little bit stretched and, and the market is just a little bit cautious here as we approach those levels so just kind of keep that in mind uh, nothing bad here by any means just a little bit of cautiousness as we move forward so let's watch that closely as we approach that all-time high resistance um, let's take a look at the cues now the cues also in the same boat notice how this price action in here just has gotten really really uh pensive you know we we try to move up we we pull back where we just we're struggling here it's it's as if um, well it'd be kind of like me that old man trying to climb the mountain and as I get up here I'm starting to cough and wheeze and run out of air just a little bit tired up here in this area and that's where we what we appear to be right now All, even though the markets remain very bullish and our trends remain technically very very strong so as we approach 
these levels up here. Let's watch this. Now this morning, the NASDAQ is looking to gap up and may actually gap up to an all time high if it closes at that level. So what I mean is you can see we've had higher prints that we're, pu that we're putting out right now, but um, we didn't close up there. So we'll have to see if we can close above at that new record high in the NASDAQ. But right now we're getting that nice push up toward that level this morning uh, with um, NASDAQ futures up 27 points. And they're certainly getting some help um, yesterday um, with the news from Qualcomm. Qualcomm and Apple settling their long-term dispute. Boy, Qualcomm uh, well, like a rocket shot yesterday, moving to the upside. Beautiful, beautiful move on that. And Apple itself holding up really nicely in a trading pattern that I think looks very bullish. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Let's take um, take a quick look at IWM. IWM is our problem child here, just kind of struggling along. We are way behind um, all time highs. And unfortunately, we're underneath significant levels of resistance that we have to watch and pay attention to in the chart. So kind of keep that in mind. IWM is struggling here and really lagging behind. It's kind of like the other markets are, uh, imagine imagine the other markets as, as um, you know, that big sailing ship and IWM is the anchor that they just keep dragging along the bottom of the ocean here, trying to get it to pull up, but just just dragging and dragging and dragging and providing that little bit of resistance to upward movement. So we'll have to keep an eye on IWM. Let's take a look at the VIX real closely. The VIX not showing any fear at all um, in this market, even though we had that pop and drop yesterday. There was just no indication of fear that the market um, thinks we're going to peel back. And that's why I think there's that cautious optimism going on. We really want those all time highs. The market just wants that to happen. And, and I think investors do as well. We want to see that headline. Hey, new record highs. Who doesn't, right? But as we move up there, we're just being extremely cautious. And I think there is a little bit of concern um, of a that we may be getting just a little bit complacent. Um, nothing seems to shake the market at all. We just want to go up um, without any question uh, to that. So kind of keep that in mind um, as we um, approach those levels. If we start to see some fear creeping up in here, you get some bullish candles showing up in here there we may be getting uh reaching that point where we get that negative reaction to these highs so watch the vix closely nothing here showing fear yet and there's no reason to believe it's going to come we just have to be aware the, of the possibility and watch for that let's take a look at t2122 and that t2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and notice yesterday in that little pop and drop pattern we had this nice little pullback in t2122 and that's a good sign because that gives us this opening up here to move higher in the market you know all markets have to move forward and pull back and test move forward and pull back and test and what we've done um, the last couple of days is just give us that little bit of resting pullback in here opening that door for that potential push on higher maybe breaking through some of those all-time high resistance levels but let's also keep in mind yeah, you, because we are so elevated here in the market there is plenty of room for a downside move if uh, those bears decide to uh, really make a push so watch that close as these earnings continue to roll out this morning let's take a look at um, our economic calendar now our economic calendar today has a couple things that could move the market around a little bit uh, but I think with the, the majority of the markets going to be focused on earnings reports and as you can see we have um, international trade uh, in goods here at 8 30 a.m. and then after that we have the petroleum status report 
which has certainly been helping to elevate oil prices. And if and if the numbers continue to show supplies diminishing, that will certainly help um, the market continue to move up. Keep in mind, we got a couple of Fed speakers this afternoon. Don't expect much out of that. And then Beige Book at two. Again, don't expect much price activity around that. Uh, tomorrow, remember, we have several um, items um, that we want to pay attention to. We have jobless claims, Philly Fed, and retail sales all uh, tomorrow morning. And also keep in mind that Friday, the market is closed for Good Friday. So you want to think about that uh, long weekend on the way and how much risk you want to hold into that long weekend. So kind of consider that as you plan your days forward. Let's take a look um, um, at some of these earnings reports that have been coming out this morning. First, well, first Netflix. Um, Netflix kind of disappointed yesterday, um, but what's surprising is even though Netflix guided lower, we had dropped all the way down into here um, right after the report came out um, yesterday. But over uh, during the conference call and things, the, the stock uh, rallied back up pretty substantially and we're pushing back up in, in here. Now, I don't know if that's, uh, if that's complacency or what, but Netflix did guide um, cautious guidance going forward and um, we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. But it's nice to see Netflix pushing back up. And then IBM reported um, yesterday, I, and they certainly disappointed the markets, and we'll be uh, looking at a gap down this morning in IBM. So this morning we've received earnings already for Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley is looking positive. And I got to tell you, if I take a look at XLF, XLF put in is putting in a pretty good pattern here. If you notice, we have a nice little bullish move here. We are testing these resistance levels, but with Morgan Stanley reporting well this morning, we could pop out of there. And it's gonna be important if we're going to move higher, we really need to have those financials participating in that move higher. So if we can see um, that good positive lift here on that, that would be good. We also have USB. U.S. Bank are reporting this morning, and I can't tell for sure. I don't know that they've reported yet. We have a wide bid ass spread here as we're kind of waiting for that report, so kind of keep an eye on that. Um, um, ETFC, ETFC uh, looks like it has, well, maybe not. It may not have reported yet this morning. So we still have quite a few reports to come at, um, in. But one thing that is positive, I think, is PepsiCo. It looks like PepsiCo is gapping up this morning. Uh, possibly gapping up this morning. Perhaps I'm uh, jumping the gun on this too, seeing that wide bid ass spread. Uh, it's possible that um, we uh, may have not reported yet here on uh, PepsiCo, so we'll have to keep an eye on that reports this morning. Looks like we're getting some activity right now. Perhaps they have just reported. We'll have to wait and see um, how that turns out this morning. Let's take a look. Uh, well, first off, let me just say, hey, I want to thank everyone who uh, watches these videos and continues to support the channel. Um, this effort that I started uh, quite some time ago to to just try to be helpful to other traders, not provide a whole bunch of hype and all that stuff that we see in, in so many places around. Avoid that hype, just put out really good quality information based on technicals in the charts. And if, if these this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. All of your thumbs ups and comments make a huge difference. And I thank you so much for that. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also feel free to share this video with any friends and family. Just click that share button and share it on your Facebook uh, page, share it on your uh, Twitter feed, whatever social media you choose to use. Um, Share that out there. That also helps a ton. And thank you to everyone who does that. So with that, let's take a look at some of the stocks that we might want to be keeping an eye on um, in this market. And there are quite a few that just look pretty darn good. I, I mentioned Apple. Um, I mentioned Apple as a really good potential setup and Apple settling that deal with Qualcomm. We have um, opened the door now for the opportunity for Apple to compete in that 5G market. And as you can see, 
Apple. Um, just a nice little tight consolidation here after breaking through some resistance. And now we'll want to watch this for that new attack. If it can pop through here, I would suggest an attack up into these levels. Um, certainly looks possible uh, for Apple. So let's keep an eye on that this morning um, and watch that closely. Take a look at Tiff. T Tiffany's really nice Morningstar type pattern right here off the trend. Looking pretty good you can see I had a price alert right there and uh, Tiffany's looking good this morning um, so we have to worry about this breakthrough of this resistance level right in here but Tiffany's looking great holding this trend nice little bullish pattern uh, showing signs for upside move I've mentioned GoPro several times and GoPro just continues to tease us here GoPro has moved up nicely and it's dealing with this major resistance level in the chart and as you can see, we're just banging our head against that, trying to find enough energy to poke through that level. Um, but right now, GoPro just hanging up here um, in this nice little trend, just hanging up here, trying to find some, some energy here to maybe pop on through and get some movement going here in the market. Might wanna take a look at Microsoft. Microsoft has been moving up nicely and got a little bearish here yesterday, a little bit of a pullback. And I think that pullback could certainly set up another opportunity. Uh, Microsoft has a tendency of rallying toward earnings or moving toward earnings report. So there may be an opportunity here to catch an entry um, in here and just let that roll up toward earnings. So lots of good potential charts out there to pay attention to. We just have to be really picky and choosy about those charts and watch the, uh, those very, very closely as we move up because we as we continue to approach these um, resistance levels in the market um, uh, we're going to see more and more caution as we move through there we need that catalyst we need that uh, big earnings report that energy that's really going to fire this market up and get us going so remember this morning guys we're looking at uh, a modest gap up this morning we want to make sure we want to wait and see if buyers will actually step in and support that move and hopefully that is the case and we can just move on up in these charts you might want to take a look at some of these defensive plays there are defensive plays that are looking pretty good mdlz had a little bit of pullback yesterday but um, overall still a very nice looking chart and if we take a look at like uh, stocks like Procter & Gamble nice move up um, after I mentioned this um, right in here uh, another one of those nice little price patterns like we're seeing in Apple and that potential move on up so kind of keep an eye on charts like that so with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. And if uh, this is the first time you've seen these videos, please remember to click that thumbs up button and uh, leave a quick comment if you have the time and believe the video is worth it. I appreciate that very, very much. Everyone, have a great day. I wish you all the best. And we'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning. Take care.